Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be episode two. I'm gonna be counting my macros. I'm gonna show you, someone's cutting the grass. I'm gonna show you how I count my macros, how I calculate my macros, and I'm gonna show you to make it a little bit easier for you to learn how to calculate your macros. You can always use a calculator that's on the computer where you don't have to do your own math. You don't have to figure it out yourself. There is an easier way. I just feel like this way is a little bit more accurate to your specific goals and it's just more it's like it feels like you're doing more work and you're actually understanding what it is that you're doing and why and where these numbers came from so yeah that's what we're doing today so thank you guys so much for watching give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and let's get started with the video okay so you're gonna hear my voice you probably will not see me so the first thing I'm going to write out and figure out with my calculations is my calories you want to find out your maintenance calories which is basically the amount of calories that you burn in a day while you're resting while you're just not doing anything so that's the first equation that I'm gonna write out for you guys can I turn this for a second so you're gonna take your weight my weight I really last time I weighed myself I was around 152 so I'm just gonna write one 50 because I'm not a hundred percent sure of my weight so I'm gonna write it out like this 150 times a range of 14 through 16 so this is your activity levels if you're a very very like active person daily you would want to go with 16 if you're not so much of an active person like you kind of lead a sedentary lifestyle you would go 14 if you're somewhere in the middle pick 15 I personally pick 15 because I do have a sedentary job but I'm also very very active so I'm going to go with 150 times 15 and that equals so these these this is the amount of calories that I normally burn in a day without having to do anything without really moving just my daily maintenance calories so depending on what your goal is your if you want to if you're cutting or if you're bulking you are going to add or subtract around 200 calories since I'm currently cutting I'm going to subtract 200 and I'm gonna get 250 when you cut, you are cutting because you want to lose weight, you want to get smaller, or you know, whatever. Everyone has their own reasons for cutting. Um, I'm cutting because I'm trying to lose a little bit of fat. So, these, this is my calorie, this is my daily maintenance calorie. Okay, so we're gonna move over here to protein. Sorry, guys, can you see this? Is this making sense? Okay. So then we're gonna go over here to protein. I will straighten the board back out in a second. I'm gonna write everything out first. I feel like that would be a lot easier. Okay, so what we have here is our protein. So for protein, you have a range of 0.8 to 1.1, and that range is there depending on how much protein do you need in your diet. Like if you are a super duper lean person, if you're mostly lean, you would go with a higher number because the more lean you are, the more muscle you have, the more protein you'll need. So you'll be at that 1.1 area. Um, if you are less lean and don't have as much muscle, you would go because you and you don't need as much protein you will go with the 0.8 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with 1.0 so 150 times 1.0 don't really need to write 1.0 we know what one is and that also equals 150 so the total amount of protein that I need in a day to maintain or and build the muscle that I want in my body is 150 grams of protein now we're gonna move down here to fat okie dokie smoky so here I am with the fat this is your equation I'm taking my weight 
I hope I didn't forget to mention that this is the weight I'm using weight times you know the range of numbers that you are given for each section so for fats you get a range of 0.35 to 0.45 so I'm gonna pick 0.40 because I just kind of like to stay in the middle with mine I'm not a super duper lean person I'm also not a um, fat person if you get what I'm saying I'm gonna do 150 times 4.0 and that gives me times point four. Oh, that doesn't really matter. I keep writing these O's for what? So, 150 times point four equals 60. So, 60 is the amount of fats I eat in a day. Okay, so this is what you do for carbs. You're gonna take carbs, which is, I'm sorry, you're gonna take your protein number, which is 150 for me, 150, and then you're gonna multiply this by four, and then you're gonna take 60 right here from your fat, and you're gonna multiply that by nine. Now, you are doing fats, by nine because um, a gram of fat has about nine calories while a gram of carbs or proteins only has about four calories so that is why when we're um, down here and I multiply the 150 protein by four and I multiply the I multiply the fats by nine it's because one gram of protein is equal to four calories and then one gram of fat has about nine calories in it. Okay, so you have these two numbers. You take 150 times four equals 600. And then you take 60 times nine equals 540. And then what you're gonna do with these two numbers, you take these two numbers right here and then you add them together. One, one, four, zero. Okay, this is equaling calories, 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 total calories. So my 150 grams of carbs is, should be around 600 calories. My 60, gram, 60 grams of fat should equal out to 400, 540 calories. And then the total between those two calories is 1140 calories, okay? And then we take our number right here, which is my total calories and then you subtract it from this number right here so minus one one four zero and then you get 20 50 minus one one four zero equals nine ten and this is your remaining calories and then you're gonna take 9, 10, and then you're gonna divide that by four. And that gives me 227.5. And this is my carbs. Protein, I got 150 grams of protein. Fats, 60 grams of fat. And my carbs is 227. Um, 0.5 grams of carbs, which is 910 calories. So I hope this makes sense. I will talk a little bit more about this um, in depth right now, actually. And I am gonna be in the camera. Okay, so I went onto a website called Healthy Eater and I put in my requirements so that they could also calculate and track my macros and count it for me. And what they came up was, what they came up with was very close to what I came up with. Um, okay, so they came up with these macros. You can see that is them. And then these are my calculations which they're not that much off. They're very close, very similar. So the point of me doing that was just to check and make sure like, you know, the information that I had from me learning how to calculate my macros was accurate to what the websites and what would show up online if I went that route. Counting and tracking your macros is not a perfect science. 
Everyone who counts and calculates your macros, I don't think will come up with the exact same numbers. I don't think every website, and I've tested this, I've been to multiple different um, macro calculators and they all come up with different numbers. They're all within the same range of numbers, but they're all different, you know, nonetheless. So what I suggest people do is, and I heard this from a registered dietitian, which I am not, that you should at least give your macro diet a week. And if you feel that it's working, keep with that. If you don't feel that it's working, adjust it, you know, maybe add 200 calories, or if you're trying to lose, you know, subtract 200 calories, just adjust it to what you think you need. Your body knows what it needs, so it'll 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 tell you so these are my actual current macros 2050 calories 227.5 carbs 150 grams of protein and 60 grams of fat i will say this my fat does fluctuate because i personally struggle a little bit with keeping my fat at 60. sometimes i've gotten up to 70. sometimes my fat has been like at 65. i personally feel that my fat fluctuating a little bit is definitely okay for me um it might not be okay for you that's fine i actually i don't track my macros to a t i like to get in a range of macros just to make sure i'm eating what i need to eat just to make sure i'm getting the amount of protein that i need the amount of carbs that i need i just want to make sure i'm getting enough of what i need so i'm gonna end this video here i don't think this is gonna be a macros only video but We'll see. So if it is, I'll see you guys next time. But if it's not, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys so it is nighttime right now i'm just gonna throw this in the vlog i just got finished working out did some cardio today boxing cardio